Hey guys, it's Natty J. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I have a fitness routine video. Um, my last fitness workout video that I posted was an intense abs workout routine. And so, because it's very important to balance out your muscles, and we hit the core really, really intensely last time. Okay, I said that in a way that I, I could have worded that better. We hit the abs really hard last time. We really worked them. So I want to balance out the muscles opposite the core. Well, I mean, it's still at the core, but balance out the muscles opposite the abdominals and hit the back muscles today. So that is why I am coming at you with this hardcore intense. I probably shouldn't call it that intense. It's a kind of a shorter video. So like, I don't think it's that hard. I mean, that's just my opinion. Some people might think it's hard, obviously, but anyways. <laughs> I'm coming at you with this back workout routine. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's just get to it. All right, so exercise number one, we are doing squats. And we aren't just doing regular squats, we are doing squats with the arms raised overhead. The hand positioning is really important here because that's what's gonna help to target the lower back. I'm using a 25 pound weight overhead to help impact my back even more. You obviously don't have to use a weight if that's not necessary for you. And you could also use a heavier weight if you would like. Three, two, one. All right, now we have a 10 second break before we get to our next exercise, which are going to be reverse snow angels. seconds break. The next exercise we're going to be doing are supermans into a starfish. So I'm making sure I have plenty of room so that when I go wide for that starfish, I will, well, not exactly run into things. My space isn't exactly that um, wide for me, but you know, I did my best. And three, two, okay, my thing went away early, but that's cool. The next exercise we're gonna be doing, I made this move up myself. I call it a sassy dancer dance move because the way that like you kind of put your hands to the side of your head is kind of like a little sassy dance move. I don't know, you're kind of moving back and forth like it's a sassy, sassy dance move going on there. But 
happening. Yeah, this isn't something that I would recommend to people who have like ever had back problems. Um, but I mean, that's not really what this video is for. It's not like some sort of, you know, physical therapy. It's, um, you know, working out your back muscles. So yeah, I completely made this move up myself just doing, you know, like back movements, back workouts. And I was like, this is so effective. My favorite go-to back workout to really target my back muscles. So I love this. I made it up myself. And we are almost done with this movement in about three, two, one. Good job. All right, so for our next exercise, we're gonna be doing, it looks kind of like a mini push-up, um, but it's not meant to be like a push-up. So they look kind of like this. Um, I look kind of like Gollum as I'm doing this because I started out doing it incorrectly. I was using too much of my arm muscles and that really, um, you know, helped me to look like Gollum. And I can notice the difference when I switch to using more of my back muscles, but I don't know if anyone else is going to be able to notice because they probably think I still look like Gollum because like, I mean, that's understandable. But um, yeah, so you're not supposed to use so much your arm muscles with this movement. This isn't like, this isn't the actual push-up. It's meant to be targeting the back. So try to use more of your back muscles. Your arms are just kind of like there to help you look like a frog or something. And we are done in three, two, one. All right, so for our next exercise, we are going to be doing some booty movements. Um, this is an exercise that a lot of times people use to target the booty, and I'm keeping my leg up high because that's gonna help to target the back. So leg extended out in these little increments going like kind of, I don't know what you would even call this, just going around, you can see what I'm doing, you know, you know what you're supposed to do and keeping that leg up high to target the lower back. Alright, so technically speaking, that portion of the workout is done, but I had to balance out both sides of my legs and I needed to work that other side. And now we're going to get to our next exercise, which are bird dogs. And then we're also going to have those hands and feet meet each other behind our backs. This is an excellent move for not only targeting the back, but also helping to improve upon our balance. And we are done in three, two, one. Hooray! You have completed my back workout routine. Now I'm just gonna go into a child's pose, which is such a good pose, and it's also gonna help to open up our back, which is what we targeted throughout this entire workout. Next, we're just gonna go into a forward stretch, relax into it. 
Stretching is such a nice, relaxing, and also important part post-workout. I mean, I've said this in some of my videos before, but I will say it again. Stretching is gonna help to improve upon your flexibility. It's gonna help to decrease likelihood of injury. It's gonna help to prevent muscle soreness post-workout. All of these positive things, guys. <laughs> Okay, so right here I'm doing a stretch, but you can't see it, so I had to re-record this part. Here it is. So yeah, doing a side stretch, kind of leaning forward a little bit to really open up that back on both sides. All right, and we are done. Hooray, we have completed the entire workout. All right, you guys have made it to the end of the video. I wanna thank you guys, as always, so much for watching, for following along, for like thumbs up in my videos, subscribing, leaving comments, all those nice, lovely things that just make my heart warm. You guys are the best. I love you all so, so much. Ooh, sirens. Anyways, hopefully I'll be seeing you all in my next video. Bye. I'm out of looking for you. Hey, have any of you guys checked out my new YouTube banner? Because I made a new one. Because I'm always trying to, like, make myself, like, I don't know, more mature. But it just never works because like, I'm just not a mature person. Like, I'm just a child at heart. Like, I'm just, you know, so. Because I was like, let me try to make this banner look like you know, more professional or something. Let me make it look more like, more like I, I can have like a broader audience attracted to my channel. You know what I'm saying? Like by changing the banner, making it look like more mature and stuff. So like I could probably get some like more people who are like actually my age attracted to my channel. But I saw that little ghost and I was like, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. And I need to have it. I need to have it like, I'm just constantly going to look like I have a children's channel. I don't know. Like, just my my essence is, like, a child. <laughs> so, yeah. Let me know what you guys think of that new uh, banner. If you guys think I should change it. If you guys like the little ghost. I like the little ghost. It's very me. So, like, I'm just a child. Yeah. Bye.